Hi, everyone. I'm Charlene Shirk, and welcome to Digital Champions, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us from the Big Apple is J.R. Lopez with Glabnos Holdings. J.R., thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure. Thank you for having me, Charlene. So talk to us about what you're doing over there at Glabnos Holdings. Uh, quite in a nutshell, if we were to give an elevator pitch, uh, I've always uh, helped individuals take their sales and marketing plans from analog to digital. A lot of business owners and CEOs of small businesses, even large, don't have a handle on, on how to market themselves online. And you know, it does take a, a wide range of skills, knowing SEO to web website building and having webmaster tools such as you know, behind the scenes with Google or Bing or Yandex. They have their own backends that help you index your site in a smart way and also you know, they give you checks and balances to make sure that your site is in compliance with their you know line of things to get to you know actually on the map if you will in terms of traffic and jr you bring up a good point a lot of business owners hey they're running a business right their expertise mm -hmm. is not in digital marketing and digital marketing has so many layers I find that sometimes, and a lot of folks share with us, that half the battle is educating them, you know, on what they need and how long it's going to take. And a lot of folks have been burned in the past, really sometimes exactly. by bigger agencies, so they come to a smaller agency. So what are you seeing when you're having those conversations and how, what advice would you give to folks how to have those, you know, kind of break those conversations down so the client has some understanding and you're able to build trust, especially if they've been burned before? Of course, I like. I, I often liken web, a website to a to a race car, a Formula One car, if you will. Every part matters. Everything that the car has inside of it makes it go, and the team behind it makes it go. And so, if you're thinking about having a website that actually is building traffic organically, you know whether you're also using pay per click campaigns, you, you actually need all that. And so, I always say it's about transparency. You need a you know, a mechanic, if you will, if you had a car, you go to your local mechanic and if he's not explaining anything, he's just telling you, you know, you walked in, oh, your rotors are, are burnt, you know, you not just your, your brakes need changing. How do you know this? You know, so we, we, we build upon educating from the ground up and this allows a business owner to make, you know, tactical decisions, if you will, about strategy and where his company should go because ultimately they know their product, not us. Exactly. So let me ask you, we, all, we like to pick the brains of our digital marketing specialists and say, you know, the one constant in digital marketing is it's always changing. So what do you have your eye on? What changes do you see coming forth that you want to make sure you're up to speed on as well as your clients? So an interesting project we have going on right now is uh, we, we're, we have a, a few units with the MXC Foundation. That's a, a blockchain uh, IoT device. It's actually a gateway. Uh, you think of um, deploying a mesh network on top of our telecoms to allow for radio frequency communications between devices. Because in the future, everything is going to be connected to the internet. Your trash cans will be telling your city that it needs to be changed versus someone just always cycling around the city trying to figure out which cans need to be changed or not. Or alarms, you know, fire alarms, you know, those batteries are out. Are they are, or aren't they? These things, you know, will one day all just travel over the radio waves of our infrastructure. And so we're involved in that. And then with the coming metaverse in that same hand with the blockchain, advertising, advertising on the blockchain is going to be big in terms of the metaverse. So I think billboard or, you know, but you have AR glasses on, you know, and you're looking, you know, maybe through your phone. Pokemon Go is very big. It's a billion dollar industry, a lo rather a billion dollar company. Uh, a year that of revenue, and you can remember the Pokemon Go phase, and people still play that game. So <laughs> AR is going to be big, advertising is going to be big, and if you're not looking at it now, then you're not going to own any space there. And that's where we're trying to make sure we're we're ahead of the game. Way to throw Pokemon in there! Wow, that's a, that's a throwback. And you know, it's funny, Jr. Because 
you, everybody's like, oh, connecting to the internet, it's going to be fabulous until your internet goes out. And I was literally wandering my house, wandering around my house this weekend. Like I can't use my Google speaker. I can't use my TV. I can't use my computer. Even my phone was wonky. And I'm like, oh my God. In one hand, it's the most beautiful thing in the world till it disconnects. And then you're just like, oh, I feel like I'm on an island all by myself. Hey, before we let you go, we always like to ask, what's a good digital marketing tip that you can share with a business owner or maybe a fellow uh, marketer that, you know, they can really put into play tomorrow and start seeing some impact on their bottom line? So I, w I always say numbers matter and you should always have, you know, an individual keeping up with your KPIs, the key, you know, uh, performance indicators. And the good tool for that is Google Search Council. That is going to give you all your organic data, how you're actually ranking for keywords that, you know, if you're a plumber, you know, you want to know that, you know, plumber near me, you know, is your website, where is that ranking? How do you actually get that data? And if your developer or digital marketer is not, you know, giving you that data, talking to you about Google Search Council, quite frankly, you're getting smoke and mirrors <laughs> in terms of marketing. That, that's what I'd say. All right. Well, Jared, thank you so much for joining us today. Some great information, way to break down the acronyms for folks who may not be super familiar. We really want to thank you for making the time to be on Digital Champions today. Thank you so much, Charlene. Uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, anytime. All right. Well, it was great getting to know you. So, folks, if you'd like to learn more about what JR is doing over there at Glavnos Holdings, of course, we want you to find him through dailyadbrief.com. Well, I'm Charlene Chirk. That's going to do it today for Digital Champions, and we look forward to learning something new with you next time.